Let me be blunt about how this has gone this week for the prosecution here in Santa Maria. I have no hesitation telling you they began the week with a whimper, but they did indeed end the week with a bang. The only problem is they ended the week with a bang for the defense. If Michael Jackson had any idea what was about to happen in court, he would surely have been skipping up to the front door, whistling as he went. It was almost as if prosecutor Tom Snedden was working on the wrong team. With Jackson's sister Latoya, as well as his brother Jermaine in attendance, Snedden played outtakes from a so-called rebuttal video. It was supposed to counteract Martin Bashir's critical documentary. If somebody announced all kids are dead, I would jump off the balcony. And the rebuttal tape with the 13-year-old accuser and his mother was supposed to have been scripted and made under duress. But on the tape, both of them appear spontaneous, bubbly, as they gush over Jackson, calling him an honest, loving, caring man who, quoting the mother, provided us a family filled with love and innocence, unquote. Devastating for the prosecution. Almost hard to believe this case has even been prosecuted in light of that videotape. But the prosecution wasn't done helping Michael Jackson out yet. While the accuser's 18-year-old sister cried as she talked about how her brother had become less loving after their visits to Neverland, when the prosecutor asked her about the time the family was held prisoner, she admitted no one had actually said they could not leave. At the end of the day, Michael Jackson gave us his assessment. It went very good, it went very good. Michael Jackson told us he thought it went very good, very good. Um, is that the sense you get from him and his people? Yeah. His defense team have been able to effectively turn the prosecuting witnesses into defense witnesses. So we're happy to read that, hear that. And of course, uh, that's a good way to end out the week. Now, things may look up a little for the prosecution next week because hopefully towards the end of the week, we will hear from the star witness, from the alleged 13-year-old victim himself. But having said that, so far anyone they've brought to the stand has been reduced to mincemeat by the skills of defense attorney Thomas Mesero Jr. In Santa Maria, California, Derek Hayward, 7 News at 11.